Donald Trump held uh, big rallies over the weekend, and it became clear during it that he, uh, one, he still has no connection to the truth, and the distance between him and the truth is growing <laughs> vaster every not day. Clear. <laughs> and two, I think. I think I'm beginning to get a better idea of his electoral strategy. So obviously, like Plan A is caravans, brown people are scary. You know, go 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 with that. Um, B is probably just you know appealing to white nationalists as much as possible. But I think C might be abortion. It's not something that he's talked about a lot in the past, but it does get right wingers fire, uh, fired up. And there's been a new form of lying about abortion that's been become very common on the right over the past couple of months. And uh, Donald Trump made a reference to these new theories about abortion. Uh, and here is a section of that. The baby is born, the mother meets with the doctor. They take care of the baby, they wrap the baby beautifully. And then the doctor and the mother determine whether or not they will execute the baby. I don't think so. Incredible. No, it's incredible. Yeah, it's uh, it's incredible as in uh, not credible as in can't be believed because it's utter nonsense. And yet, that is the president who can like anything goes, anything goes, you can, it doesn't matter. It's not like a lie isn't like misstating a statistic anymore or anything like that. It's not even being unfair to a person's argument when describing it. It's just make up whatever you want. And not a single person in that audience will check to see if it's true, cares whether it's true. The media is gonna do effectively nothing to combat the falsehoods, like yes, PolitiFact and Washington Post will give it, you know, 20 Pinocchios or thumbs down or whatever it is that they do. Um, but even the New York Times tweeted, fact check. At a rally on Saturday in Green Bay, Wisconsin, President Trump revived an inaccurate refrain about doctors executing babies. If he says that his political opponents are swaddling toddlers and then executing them, that is not an inaccurate refrain. It is a vicious, disgusting lie. And the New York Times, <laughs> Can't say that. It's not even by definition, it doesn't even make sense. Like abortion, the definition is in the word abort, like abort mission. The mission is birth. Mm. Okay. So you can't have an abortion if a baby is actually born. Yeah. And then he is actually describing random murder mm -hmm. and calling it abortion. That is not a thing. He no, is not actually a thing. describing like what happens. He's describing murder. Yeah. And it just takes me back to, um, they give it other words, so just to try to make it seem like it's not ridiculous. This was this was what Meghan McCain was talking about when she was screaming infanticide. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, it is. It this is, is crazy, is even, and it's it's not based in anything. It's it's like, and I know that they don't care, and really they don't even need to go these lengths. They think that any abortion is the most horrific thing that you can possibly do. I get that, but that's not good enough anymore. That's not good enough to get their people out and to vote based purely on this, considering nothing else. They need something even worse, and so they've convinced themselves that now what a woman wants to do when she wants to have an abortion is she wants to be pregnant for nine months, go through that entire thing, birth the child, wrap it. And then decide to kill it. That has no relationship with reality whatsoever. None. But that's that's what they're running on. I mean, I could just like you at home, just make up what's the most ridiculous lie that I, we could try to win an election based on. Don't think I can't it, think of anything like that. I don't that. think that racism is over. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like I, that's it's one step worse than this. I think of myself as a creative person. I can't. Yeah, that's, that's true. A lie. I don't think. Um, <laughs> Like in this in this mythical story, how do do the doctors execute the babies? Like, do they use the electric chair? Mm -hmm. Do they use lethal no, there's injection? There's no like details what? because there's nothing. Do they shoot them? I don't know. There I don't are know. no details. And also, can we see that video one more time? Just not like just just the video. I just, just see because I'm a child. I just the <laughs> blacks for Trump delegation is always like right in. Like view of camera. Well, he's he's and on he's his, bored. Yeah, he's bored. <laughs> like he's not. The president is talking about murdering uh, maybe, babies. And maybe he's, he's fact bored, checking it. Right? Maybe he's the what? one. Anyway, it's just like yes, the lie itself is ridiculous. But my fear is that the media has not learned much from this last experience of covering Trump. And I know it's just one tweet from one outlet, but it is the New York Times. And if that is how they are going to approach these lies, like eh, some are saying it's inaccurate then I think that we're in for a really bad election.
Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.